God damn it. Nick. This is what he meant. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? How the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. This is becoming rough. The body's gone. He was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia. But how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Sure, you're ready. Okay, open it. Look, there's no blood and no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. These men... I killed them. I'm disgusting. They were dead. Disgusting. Not in this world. Look at their noses. They're... They're all bleeding. One of one of me. I can't tell. What was wrong with them? They remembered. Remembered what? Being dead. What is going on here, Makes my head hurt.
Give me a second. The broken clock tolls at midnight. Which clock? This looks like the one. Set it to midnight. I came to Columbia because I believed in God and because I believed in honor. But Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. Hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs. Look, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines! Very dangerous! No place for stupid people! Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin, if... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Thoughts. Maybe in... in some... Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did you notice? Lynn had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. Miss Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Now! Alright!